Uh, all right, so quickly jumping to the setup here for the Raspberry Pi Pico W connecting to the BM. E280. You're going to need four jumper wires. If you don't know what jumper wires are, I'm going to link them in the description below for you to buy off Amazon. But yeah, you're going to need four of those. You can use a, a breadboard for this, or you can connect straight to the Raspberry Pi Pico W. For the first one in red here, you're going to connect VCC from the BME280 to pin 36 on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Secondly, you're going to do ground to ground, which is pin 38 on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. And then this orange one here is the SCL link. So you're going to do the SCL to pin number two on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. And finally, you're gonna connect a jumper wire from SDA in blue to pin number one on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. And I'll put a link to the schematic below if it wasn't clear, but ho hopefully those connections are clear enough for you guys to make those connections. And then now let's jump straight into the code once you have the setup. So if you have your physical setup with your jumper wires connected properly, go into Thani, make sure your Raspberry Pi Pico W is connected here or your Raspberry Pi Pico. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna to go to the tools, manage packages. We actually have a, a BME280 package. So just search BME280. I'm gonna click enter. We're gonna download the MicroPython one, simple. I already have it installed. So uh, you guys just go ahead and do that. Once that's done, we're just gonna go ahead and run this code here, which I have linked down below. I copied this online and it's a pretty standard way to, or probably the simplest way to start using the values from your BME280. So it's doing a series of imports. And what it's doing is it's making the connections to the SDA and the SCL pins and making sure it can make the I2C uh, communication line. And then it's just reading the, the values from the BME every 10 seconds with this sleep 10 here. So I'm just gonna go and run this and show you how it works. And then that's it. As you can see, I have readings, I have humidity, temperature, and pressure. So it's uh, temperature, pressure, and humidity. I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that was a quick tutorial to show you guys how this works from the physical setup to the code setup. Please like, comment, subscribe if you found that useful. Stay tuned to the channel and let me know what you wanna see in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.